Planning for next year's fair is already happening. When you do head out there this weekend, I want to remind you folks, be sure to stop by a really special place. We're talking about the Women's Museum. It's near Gate 3. Inside, you're going to be able to experience a three-story display, and it celebrates a very popular holiday throughout Mexico and Latin America. Yeah, we had a chance to learn more about what makes the Mundo Latino Dia de los Muertos exhibit so special. The sound, sights, and cultural significance of this exhibit are mostly rooted in Mexican heritage. It's called Dia de los Muertos. The literal English translation is Day of the Dead. But Rafael Luna, the man behind this vision, is adamant it shouldn't be confused with the name of a popular movie. He wants everyone to say the name of this holiday tradition the way it was intended to be said in Spanish. Dia de los Muertos. It's a celebration where we honor our ancestors, our people that have gone to the afterlife, and we want to bring them to our home. We want to bring their names to our, our, our mouth. Per Dia de los Muertos tradition, those beloved souls are remembered by setting up altars with their pictures and some of their favorite items, and that includes food. Those individuals are many times depicted with sugar skulls, creating an entire genre of art directly tied into a culture, immortalizing their lost loved ones. And it brings that tear or that emotion to my heart. And so I think that's very, very significant for people to know that that's what we do. I did my best to make them look, you know, soft, loving, you know, friendly. Alfonso Hernandez is the artist behind some of the most prominent displays at the uh, exhibit, including this massive tribute to departed Tejano singer and legend Selena. He was also commissioned to create this. He looks like somebody, right? He looks like somebody around here. A Dia de los Muertos depiction of the State Fair's most iconic ambassador. It was a challenging one, right? From a, from a design perspective, um, you know, from a respect pers perspective, right? You know, just, you know, try not to be distasteful. While the significance of Dia de los Muertos can oftentimes be described as being celebratory, that isn't always the case. And this is a perfect example of that. This altar honors all of the lives tragically taken in the Uvalde massacre. Do you find this to be joyful or painful? I think it's a little bit of both. At this altar built within the exhibit, every name and photo of the Uvalde victims includes a special request. I want it there to be an action, an action item for each child. Which he hopes people will take in honor of those killed. While heartbreak is inevitable when thinking of lost loved ones, Luna says this exhibit proves that smiles can also be had when remembering fond times. I want to make sure that our culture is represented the correct way. Yeah, three stories for that culture to be represented there. The display, by the way, it is open to the public, again, inside the Women's Museum, and you have until Sunday when the fair closes to go check that out. It's beautifully done, especially a tribute there yeah. to the Uvalde victims.